Ooh, you again. The phoenix. It's been stolen, and now it's shut up in a horrid cage. You're our last hope. It's the phoenix! Oh, it's the phoenix! It's awfully dark in here. I wish Eliza and Cook were at home. Cats. Cats? Mr. Burglar. Oh. How did he get here? He's a burglar. What? Send for the police, and I'll go quiet. Look here. These cats are very valuable, and we'll give them all to you if you just take them away. I'm the fence now, that's what I am. I never thought I'd come down to this. Yeah, all because of my kind of. I think we should give them a jolly good fright when they do get back. <laughs> There's someone been here. You! Happy New Year, Eliza. And you, Cook. <laughs> She never gave you permission to go out last night. And leave the house to be burgled. Burgled? Now, listen here, Master Cyril, and the old lot of you. Uh, don't you start drawing us. We aren't going to stand for it. We know too much. And we'll have treacle roly-poly for dinner. And tin tongue, thank you very much. Don't you come a-threatening me. You tell your ma about us going out. I don't care. She'll feel sorry for me when I tell her that I was out looking after me poor old aunt who's had spasms in her legs and... Oh, don't. You know a liars go to Eliza. Liar, indeed. How's your husband's cousin's sister-in-law's mother? And did she have a nice 90th birthday? They're on to us, Liza. Dossed down at Mrs. Wigson's, did you? Oh, stow it, Bobs. They've had enough. Whether we tell or not depends on you. You be decent to us, and we'll be decent to you. And we'll have that roly-poly and tongue for dinner. Thank you very much. That's all done. You are wonderful, Cyril. Nothing to it. We can do what we like now. <laughs> well done. I've got an idea. Let's go somewhere by carpet. America! <clears throat> I wouldn't if I were you. Why not? I have given you one or two hints, but now I see I must speak out plain. Why? What's the matter? Mm. That. It does look rather awful. Look at the bare, worn patches. Look at the great rent. That carpet has been your faithful servant. How have you repaid it? Oh, Phoenix, don't talk in that lecturing tone. You make me feel as if I've done something wrong. And it is a wishing carpet, isn't it? And all we've done is wish. And what sort of wishes? Sand of southern shores, soaking in southern seas, India. Goodness knows where in Persia, and wherever the cow and fishes come from. It does sound rather much put like that. Hold your carpet up to the light. And with cautious tenderness, if you please. You see? been doing in here. Cat says that's what them are. Yeah, can't be, Liza. They ain't got a cat. Yeah, well, if they did, half of it would be on this brush. And that terrible smell. Yeah. Fish it smells like. But there weren't no fish, not over Christmas. I told you the worst thing about this place was them kids. Liza, what I've been thinking... What? Well, the birthday party of Mrs. Wigson. How did they know? What sly little things. No, oh, no, but nicer. They've been in Bournemouth this last week. How could they know? So they have. So well. Oh, thought transference. Well, you don't think. You don't think they got a crystal ball? Oh dear, I'm not 
not very good at this. Will this do? Oh, that must be with that brute of a cow put its foot through it. Hoof. What? Glad I'm not a girl. Stitch, stitch, stitch. <sighs> well, you could jolly well learn. That's what I'm doing. No fear. It is a labour of love, my child. You are a nice old bird. Oh. <sighs> there is something you boys <sighs> could do to help. Wool. We need some more wool. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Bobs. Mm -hmm. We could do with a walk. Mm -hmm. Work up an appetite for dinner. <gasps> Tin tongue and treacle rolly. Mm -hmm. One in tuppence. We'll soon be clean out of ten. Let's say, what's going on? I don't know. Catch! Dozens of them! I ask you, it ain't natural. Where'd you get them? It's a burger. Oh, valuable burger. No! It's a burger. It's a burger. I'm innocent. It's catched red-handed. I was given, I told you. Oh, yes. Who buy? The Shah of Persia. <laughs> I got them. I got them in exchange for milk and a cow. Oh, now, come along. You can do better than that. I did. In a basement kitchen up Camden Town Way. Well, perhaps you can give us a name and address of this cow, sir. No, I can't. They hadn't got a flock of sheep in there as well, by any chance. Cows in <laughs> kitchens. Who's kidding who? I oh, know. I oh, know. The likes of Dawny. He needed the cow for milk for the cats. Yes, that is just it. And I could take you there if you leave go of my collar and let me get my breath. You can tell all that to the magistrate in the morning. All right, come along. Shall we go forward? No pudding, Ed. If that not a good that'd do, they never believe a word we said. There's nothing oh, to say. Along, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Nothing to say. It's all our fault. I hope you're doing your best work. I am. It's just that my best isn't very good. It is not an ordinary, ignorant, innocent carpet from Kidderminster. It is a carpet with a past. A Persian past. We know that, and we are being dreadfully careful. Mm. Mm. Half keep thinking my maiden might hurt it. In the olden days, when this carpet was the property of caliphs, kings and sultans, it never lay on the floor. Never, never before has anyone degraded it by walking on it. And when wishes were required, people always took their shoes off. Oh, don't. And anyway, you'd never been hatched at all <gasps> if Mother hadn't brought the carpet for us to walk on. You needn't have walked so much or so hard. I say, you'll never believe it. It's awful. Calm yourselves, please. Cultivate repose. What? The burglar. They've got him. The law. Oh, no. No. Caught his handy with the cats. And he's up before the beak in the morning. My dear burglar, in prison. But why didn't you tell them the cats weren't stolen? What? The whole thing? They'd never have believed us duffer. There must be something we can do. My own dear pet burglar. Oh, soppy. And the way he called the cow Daisy and was going to mend his ways. Dear Phoenix, mm -hmm. can you help us? Dear, good, kind, pretty, clever Phoenix, do tell us what to do. Well, you could always rescue him. Of course. The carpet. I say... Well, wouldn't the burglar get a fearful shock when we turn up? After last night, I should think he's ready for anything. At least we're not taking a cow. <sighs> They're asleep. Oh, at last. It must be quick. Finish the note. Please take our burglar to a sunny southern shore and then come straight back here and take us home. Careful. Careful. Oh, wait. Our boots. No, leave them. What? They're coming straight back, remember? <laughs> Worse luck. And it does, of course, show a certain respect. I hope that what I said this morning did not run like water off a duck's back. No, of course not. We're going to be dreadfully careful from now on. You had better be. Farewell. Aren't you coming? I shall remain here. I am worn out. Ready, everyone. <sighs> We're going to prison. I wish we were in our burglar's lonely cell. Wait. 
And what if he yells? I'll do it. I'll wake him really gently. I was only talking him asleep. No offence. Yeah, well, stow it, won't you? How the blue Moses did you get in? On the carpet. Look here, you wouldn't have believed anyone who told you about the cats in the cow in our kitchen. No, I wouldn't. So help me, Bobs, I wouldn't. Well, then, just try to believe us now. If you'll just trust to us, we'll get you out of here right enough. No one saw us come in. You'll see us go out right enough. They won't. Listen, where would you like to go in the whole world? Where? Anywhere after these. How about a sunny southern shore? Oh, yeah, and how about the moon? We can send you there. It's beautiful. Our old cook's there. She's queen. I don't, oh, I don't know whether I'm standing on my hat or my boots, so I don't. If you can't get me out, get me. And if you can't, get along with you, for goodness sake. Come on, then. Onto the carpet. What's that then? Well, it's like a postage stamp. We're posting you there. So far, so good. Oh, I hated to see the burglar go off without us. Don't worry, Pusscat. We'll go and see him tomorrow when Cook and Eliza are out shopping. How long will it take, do you think? Don't think the carpet takes very much notice of time. Don't fancy stopping here long. Shouldn't think the grub's up to much. Bread and water. Oh, poor burglar. Poor us if that carpet doesn't come back. Oh, it will, won't it? There. Oh, darling carpet. Quick. Oh, the burglar. Oh, I do hope he's all right. We'll soon find out, but tomorrow. It's on carpets with postage stamps and that is. It's a bloody mystery. Penny plain and Tuttman's colour. Oh, a nice young fella. Another dream if I'm not mistook. Come along. There's no need to be shy. I may be queen, but I'm not stuck up, I hope. Looky here. You're only part of a dream, you see, what you've come into. That's a bloody good one, that I will say. Oh, he is safe. Shh. And as it's only a dream, there's no nonsense about what a young lady like me should say or should not. So I will say, you're the best looking young fellow I've seen for many a day. Oh, there's many mad to give his right arm to be dreaming the likes of you, Mum. And as it's a dream, it goes on and on, seemingly, as long as you behaves. I can go on forever for me. Blessed if this ain't the oddest Jeffy I've known in years. Oh, would you like some nice clothes, like mine? That, that should only look at Juggins in a miss, thanking you all the same. And Michelle was only clean on a week before last. Oh, so I'm dreaming of you, am I? <laughs> oh, you look quite pretty now, Cook. Ah, get Lovely. That's better. Yeah, kid is the word. <clears throat> that cook, or queen, whatever you call her, the one with the bouquet on her head, mm. she is just my sort. <coughs> I wonder if she'd keep company. I should ask her. Yes, do. I always was a quick hitter. That's a word and a blow with me. <laughs> I will. Now, what's all this whispering and carrying on? Uh, look here, miss. You and me being all, all full on like in this uh, dream, or whatever you calls it, I'd like to tell you straight as I like your looks. I'm a single man, what you might call a bachelor. I'm mild in my habits, as these kids uh, tell you the same. And uh, I'd like to have the pleasure of walking out with you next Sunday. Oh, 
gracious! You're all for sudden, Mr. Ange. Walking out means you're going to get married. So why not get married and have done with it? Well, I'm game. I don't mind if I do. No. No, miss. Not even in a dream. But why? I've nothing against the young chap's looks, but I always swore as I'd get married in church. No, mister, thank you kindly. But if you can't bring a clergyman into the dream, then I live and die like what I am. Do you think he'd mind? Who cares? A wedding! Hooray! Will you marry him if we get a clergyman? I dare say. I dare say I would. <laughs> <laughs> enough reverend to me but I do wish I couldn't see through him do you think he counts as a clergyman he's standing on one of my dogs the magic isn't strong enough uh, please sir step off the carpet <sighs> please sir this lady and gentleman want to get married will you reverend Blenkinsop will you marry them please well, if this is a dream, and it assuredly must be, um, where can be the harm in it? Marriage is an honourable estate. Rather. Absolutely. And they're terribly in love. Is it your wish that I should marry you? Oh, yes, sir. Please, sir. I'd make an honest woman of her, and me the happiest bloke alive. Very well. Hooray! Do you have the ring? Oh, lummy, that's a stumper. I didn't know I was going to get spliced today, you see. But don't you be a worrying about that. I'm queen here, you know. The ring. we may all be delivered safely home. Buy this kind of dream any day of the week. you when you called him for his tea. Serena, I shall not repeat this again. <sighs> he answered. He said, coming, as he always does. <sighs> we shall have to send for the police. We will make one last search, then send for the police. Real. Quite real. <gasps> Septimus! <laughs> Oh, 
Hooray, hooray, Mother comes home today. How beautiful is filial devotion. Not till nearly bedtime, though. We can have one last carpet trip today. I do wish we could find something really nice for Mother. But where will we find the tin? I tell you what. Well, suppose you wish to go somewhere on the carpet where we can find a purse with money in it. Oh, no. Well, now you've done it. <sighs> Never mind, Sil. I'll mend it. <clears throat> Respecting the purse containing coins, it might be as well, perhaps, to state clearly how much you wish to find. Well, I should think about a sovereign's worth. Mm -hmm. I suppose if you find a purse, it's only because someone's lost it. And then you ought to take it to the police. The situation does indeed bristle with difficulties. Oh, well, let's chuck it and go to the North Pole or somewhere really oh. exciting. No. No. There must be some way. Wait a sec. I've got an idea coming. Mm? Don't speak. No. Oh. That looks beautiful, Lil. It really does. It's his favourite. He's not due home till tomorrow, so best not leave it on the table tonight. Because then the kids will see it off sharpish. Yeah, they won't tell. You sure they won't tell? No, nah, not them. What, after the dinners you gave them? And that cake you let them make? It's the first time I've had a cake with candles and it's nobody's birthday. Yeah, well, they're like that in this house. Kids. Good job their ma is coming home. Fair handful they are to expect anyone to mind. Not under our feet much, though, Liza. Out a lot. I do hope mm. it won't take us too far. Our feet will be freezing. Mm. But we want it to take us slowly. Mm. Looking at the state of it, it could be our last go. We'll put our boots straight back on the minute we land. I am pleased to see that at last you have heeded my warnings. Go on, Panther. It's your wish. We wish you to take us somewhere where we can get money for Mother's present and get in a way that she'll believe in and not think wrong. Mm, that is rather a long wish. Oh, and please go slowly, dear carpet, so we can see where we're going. I wish! Oh, I don't mean it. I mean, it's a pity we're not higher up. That's right. Be careful. If you wish when you're on a wishing carpet, you do wish, and there's an end of it. Where are we going, I wonder? Over the river. It's gone all misty. You're right. Oh, I feel as if I'm going to have the measles again. Looks all right to me. And me. It's beautiful. I could go on like this forever. Oh, it's making me giddy. And this hole's getting bigger. It's not the measles, whatever they may be. It's the holes. someone gets them down or drop tiles to attract attention they can tram it home what without their boots the carpet is dropping to earth what's it bringing us here for i expect it knows it usually does oh i'm scared dry up puscat don't be a little duffer going to get down. <gasps> Be careful! <sighs> well, well, well. Oh. Uncle Felix! What on earth are you doing here? Well, well um, we were thinking of going to Greenwich Palace. And where are the others? Oh, that's... We don't know exactly. Good morning, Miss Peasmarsh. I see you got your carpet back. I did feel awfully guilty. Uh, yes, yes, thank you. I hope you didn't have to pay for it. Mrs. Biddle is... Such... It's such a battle axe. <laughs> 
But there, if it weren't for her and you kiddies, I would never have... Look, I'm afraid we must fly. Agnes and I are off for a jaunt on the river. Oh, ripping. Well, yes. Uh, look, why don't you uh, take yourselves off and have a treat, eh? Thanks, sounds awfully. A sovereign. <laughs> well, good old carpet. Smack and right as usual. Uh -huh. Line the whole thing. So noble a carpet to come to this. It does look a dog's dinner. Oh. There you are. Oh. You were so quiet, I thought you'd gone out. We did. Sort of. Where are the others? Oh, well, it's quite uh, simple. They're, um, they're playing a new game. One they've just invented. Well, it's to be hoped it's a game what won't leave their clothes in ruins. <laughs> anyone it's all very well saying they can take the tram home but how do we even know they can get down i can bear it no longer oh the suspense no my robert who set my egg to hatch in the fire oh phoenix can you help them <laughs> It's alive! <laughs> 